Okay, so your sharp carousel microwave not working. Right? You change the fuse and the fuse keep blowing. Stick around, watch this video. I will show what is the problem and how to fix it. Alright, so we'll create this sharp carousel microwave, right? And this might probably be my last sharp microwave I'll work with because I don't think they're making sharp anymore. Or uh, they're not shipping on sharp anymore. I'm not sure. Alright, so the fuse. Remove the cover. Alright, so. Alright, so plugged on and nothing happening, right? No power, right? The fuse, the fuse inside the blue. So I'll unplug this. Remove the fuse. So the same fuse, right? We will check for continuity. Are we we not getting any right? So this fuse. This fuse is gone. So I will change the fuse. Let me find a fuse. See, see, come on. So all the knobs working. Except for the display here, it's also light up, but in a light up. Right, so it's working. Now we will put it on. I put it for 12 seconds. Right, so it, it on 12 seconds. I will press the power. I will watch what happens. The fuse will blow in. Right, so the fuse across there, watch it. And you will see it blow. Alright, so the fuse blew again. So one of the main reasons why the fuse blew is because of the capacitor. Alright, so the capacitor. Alright. So this is the capacitor. Now sometimes the capacitor is go bad and the fuse go low. Sometimes magnetron go, go bad and the fuse go blow. So if I transform go bad, the fuse go blow. 
the circuit ball will go bad and the fuse will blow but I ran some tests earlier and the magnetron good, transformer good, circuit board everything good except for the um, capacitor right the high voltage capacitor this this bad right so um, to fix this problem right I will change the capacitor so I will change the capacitor no worry it unplug make sure I unplug it right so I will change the capacitor first I will disconnect the arm the cables now when you're disconnecting this right make sure you have an insulated pliers bubble beak you make sure you ain't getting shock now this is all a real very serious high voltage shock you move one two and the diamond Alright, so you move one three and there's two ways this there's two way to charge this capacitor. This is the easiest and fastest way. One only needs a a big plus. Touch the two terminals together for a few seconds and they will it will run off. Right? The current will drain. Right, so you make it sure that the current there. Then remove the screw that holds the capacitor. And when you take out the connection, right, you're making sure the, the three connections you take out, you're making sure the three connections go back the same position. They don't mix it up. Now, you move any capacitor and making sure you're not touching any of the terminals inside. Just to, make sure, just to be safe, you're not touching none of the terminals inside, right? So, take out this part. Right, so you see old capacitor and the value of this is um is zero right is zero point seven seven uf all right so this one is the replacement Go back the, um, the clamp that hold the capacitor and the high voltage diode. All right, so you're making sure you see where to go the um, the wires, the connectors. You're making sure it go back the same way. So the white, the red, and the white together. Alright, so Alright, so now I will replace the fuse with another fuse. Alright, so I'll turn this around. I will plug it on. Alright, so 
I will set this for 12 seconds. All right, so it's working. So you can see the light something come on. The light's on, the fan working. All right, so disconnect this. And the magnetron hot. All right, so this is the reason why the fuse keep blowing is because of the capacitor. All right, so the capacitor was a bad capacitor. They have changed the capacitor and put a new fuse and they're good to go. All right, so everything back to normal. I'll run, I'll run it again for the next 12 seconds. I'll show you. All right, so they have it. Bad capacitor, good, good capacitor. As always, thanks for watching all my videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. Until next time, Mr. Fixit360, saying good luck with all Europeans.